Coconuts TV. Thailand is famous for its counterfeit goods. You can buy just about anything here. Knock off Prada bags, iPhones, Ray-Bans, even Viagra. It's a major hub of the global counterfeit goods trade, which is expected to exceed $1.7 trillion this year. This February alone, Thai police seized more than 300 million baht, or 9 million US dollars, worth of counterfeit products, including clothes, watches, shoes, and bags. In fact, there are so many fakes in Bangkok that there's an entire museum dedicated to them. The Museum of Counterfeit Goods is one of the largest collections of counterfeit goods in the world. Housed in the Taliki and Gibbons law firm, it showcases more than 4,000 pirated products, from clothes and electronics to food and cosmetics. A tour of the museum reveals that people will copy pretty much anything. On display are genuine and fake versions of each item. With many knockoffs, it's almost impossible to tell the difference at first glance, but there are telltale signs for spotting fakes. There are three things to look out for, place, packaging, and price. So if you purchase counterfeit goods from a place like a street vendor and the product that you buy has a brand name and it's really cheap and the packaging doesn't look like whatever you're used to, you can pretty much tell it they're counterfeit goods. Some consumers purchase counterfeit goods unwittingly, but many buyers know what they're getting. Pirated products are so common on the streets of Bangkok that it almost feels like you're not breaking the law when you buy them. There are different types of infringement. A patent infringement is making or selling the product that has been claimed in a patent application. The second one is copyright infringement. A good example is a book. If you just take a book and photocopy the entire book and then sell it. And the third one is trademark infringement. You can take a logo and then copy that logo and put it on the same type of product. However, it's not just brand name companies that these knockoffs are hurting. Recently, a local t-shirt designer in Bangkok got down on his knees and begged street vendors to stop selling counterfeit copies of his designs. He'd only launched his brand a few days earlier. Even more worrisome than fake clothes and accessories are items like counterfeit food, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, electronics, and automotive parts. With no proper regulation, these products pose serious risks to consumer health and safety. One of the most disturbing items in the counterfeit museum is the fake baby formula. Imagine how dangerous that could be. Maybe it has been, you know, mixed with something that's a lot cheaper and it doesn't have nutritional values or worse if it's drugs. Maybe the drug is only like a really small percentage and it doesn't really cure you. I think those are the, the most dangerous things that can happen to you when you use counterfeit goods. The main source for the vast majority of these counterfeits is China. In 2004, 50 babies died from malnutrition in China after being fed fake baby formula. In 2008, at least 81 deaths were linked to Chinese counterfeits of the blood-thinning drug heparin. Another thing many buyers of fakes may not realize is that the counterfeit goods industry has been linked to child exploitation, organized crime, human trafficking, and the loss of thousands of jobs. There's a very dark side to the world of fake Rolexes and Prada. Recently, Thailand has been cracking down on the counterfeit trade. Twice a year, destruction ceremonies are held for all the pirated products collected during raids. But despite these efforts, the streets of Bangkok are still filled with fake goods, and it doesn't seem like that's going to change anytime soon.